She's a good girl. She's crazy about all this. All horses and a boyfriend too. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a long day. Well, this is James Combe again, the bike bringing you another half ash reporter. We're going to attempt to. We want to go up here at Gagosian and sneak in because they've got a no photo policy to see this exhibition by Mark Grochan. Is this the complete show or is, does it extend downstairs? Or? Okay, thank you. I was uh, over at the Wade uh, Guyton show at the Whitney and uh, went by Michael Werner to see the uh, the Nay show and I happened to see the uh, sign for this Mark Rochin show downstairs so uh, we had to go on our uh, down low mode because I wanted to come up and capture this. Now uh, Mark is probably one of the more popular and influential young painters, youngish painters around. He lives out in LA and I know that his show that he had at uh, Anton Kern, I guess it opened in May 2011, uh, really opened a lot of people's eyes and uh, kind of made him a uh, star in the painting realm. But I, th I was very surprised by these pieces and uh, I like them. Well, this is one of the interesting pieces. You know, you see this channel that goes over the top of the uh, cardboard box form. These are all <coughs> sprues. Now, this is what uh, the people at the foundry would use to pour the bronze in, and Mark has just left those on some of these pieces because the uh, the structure is so beautiful. I was. Uh, Kind of surprised by this because I haven't seen any of his sculpture before. But now that I think back on his uh, his painting show, a lot of those pieces were the big head pieces were on uh, cardboard. So Mark obviously has a uh, an affection for that material. I think they must have cleaned them up and sandblasted them because they have. Uh, a very nice velvety finish. Uh, the other interesting part is the painted sculpture aspect and uh, a lot of these pieces only have a few additions of paint. Here we get a chance to see the uh, straight bronze surface on there and some of them are heavily painted. I would actually love to see these pieces, the actual cardboard units that they're based on and see whether or not they have the same the same quality you know this kind of trompe l'oeil effect uh, it's nice but I'd love to see what this looks like with the uh, paint soaking into the cardboard now, those two holes are uh, kind of a motif that Mark has been using for the last three or four years We'll run over. <coughs> I like this one, and uh, 
I didn't notice it when I was actually at the gallery, but it's got his name painted there on the side. Grote John Mark. We'll take a little pan over the gallery. It's almost uh, a question of whether these are sculpted paintings or painted sculpture. And in certain ways, this relates to people like Robert Rauschenberg and maybe even Cy Twombly. That's a very minimalist piece. I kind of like that one. It's very stark. Makes me think of Don Judd. Well, we'll sneak downstairs before they bust us here. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, here we are in the lower gallery. And uh, I, I like this tall one, the tall skinny one. I think that's maybe my favorite piece in the show. It's a little unusual. Mark has got a great uh, sense of his materials. And, uh, you know, it'd be real easy for someone to get very precious about these, but uh, he doesn't. These still have this kind of scruffy, abject feel to them. And I mentioned uh, Don Judd before, <clears throat> but when you walk around these pieces and uh, kind of look at the empty spaces, it does relate to the kind of spatial ideas that Judd was playing with. And uh, creates that kind of uh, dialectic between uh, the artificial created space of painting and the actual volumetric space created by sculpture. Like that one too, the two, just the two simple eyes. Oh, this is maybe my second favorite piece in the show. I like the way that he's left the, uh, the eyelids on the top there of the eye holes. He's got his name again painted on there. Maybe that's his initials. Now that looks like his paintings of the little face there on the back. Well, I have snuck into Gagosian and I've taken photos of uh, Damien Hirst and uh, Robert Rauschenberg collection. And uh, I was over at the Whitney early, earlier and they, <laughs> they think it's great if somebody comes by and makes videos so if anybody's got an in with Larry, tell him it's time to uh, come into the 21st century. I like the little cut down the middle of this piece. This one is painted on both sides. <clears throat> and I like the flopped over piece of uh, cardboard. spontaneous well we'll take a little run by as we try to get out of here without getting caught MPG guards here don't recognize me the ones on 24th Street know when I'm there and <laughs> keep an eye on me well, okay operatives mission accomplished that was a show of Mark Rochin bronze sculpture here at Gagosian thank you Kate What, what's your name? Tara. Tara. You have a website and all that stuff? Yeah. What is it? www.tarahack.com. H-A-C-K. Tarahack.com. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. Thank you.